Welcome to Showcase of Homes on Lifestyles. I'm your host, Janine Buckner, and today we have a special guest with us, Lisa Banks of CASA. Lisa, welcome. It's so great to have you here. Thanks so much. I appreciate being here. Well, we appreciate Cecilia Hayes. She was here. Um, she's with Keller Williams, and she was telling us a little bit about CASA on her last visit, and we're really glad you could come and give us some real in-depth information about CASA and what you do. So first, can you tell us what CASA stands for? Sure, it stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. And um, first of all, let me say, we're very appreciative of the work that SEAL has done mm -hmm. with us um, for many, many years, uh, both in the capacity as a board president, but also now uh, raising funds and raising awareness for our, for our mission. Um, CASA is a very unique nonprofit that works at the request of the juvenile court to advocate for abused and neglected children who are under the court's protection. And um, when children are abused and neglected by their parents, um, shockingly, the people who are supposed to love and care for them most, the court steps in to provide protection for those children. Mm -hmm. But judges have to make decisions for children's futures, and they often don't have enough information. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, judges in 1977 conceived of an idea of citizen volunteers who would be their eyes and ears. And thus was born the CASA program. It's a national organization and any juvenile jurisdiction can have a CASA program. So what we do is we recruit and train citizen volunteers, people like you mm -hmm. and me, to be those eyes and ears of the judges. Um, to get to know children and know all of their circumstances so that we can identify their needs and tell the judges what is in the child's best interest and the judges can make good decisions. Wow, that's a really, really important service and I'm sure it's somewhat complicated. There's a lot of different variables and like you said, a lot of times, you know, if this is happening and it's the parents that are the source of the problem, um, how do the kids get the help they need. I mean, what's how, what are kind of the steps in this process? Yeah, um, a lot of the cases are referred to Child Protective Services okay. by schools or doctors, people okay. who see children and, and might know sense. that they're um, being abused and neglected. And once the Department of Family Services determines that abuse and neglect is occurring, they bring the case to court. And once the court determines that abuse has occurred, they refer the case to us. And we assign a CASA volunteer, a person who we have screened and trained thoroughly mm -hmm. and who we supervise with professional staff. And the CASA volunteer sees the child at least twice a month and um, gets to know everything about that child. The CASA volunteer also works with all the professionals in the case, whether that be the teachers, therapists, doctors, parents, foster parents, mm -hmm. um, anyone who might shed light on this child's circumstances. So and this, um, so your organization really relies heavily on these citizen volunteers, is that right? Absolutely, we are constantly recruiting because as you can imagine, um, children are constantly coming into the system. And in fact, um, we serve about 550 children a year right here in Fairfax County, which is shocking um, mm -hmm. to me, given um, you know the, the county that we have. But right. um, we have children coming in who need court protection about every 34 hours. Wow. So it's well, a lot. It, and it's important. And I'm sure a lot of people, especially people who like to volunteer, you really can't ask for a more important cause here. So if people are interested, what is the best way for them to reach out and learn more about your organization or get in touch with you? The best way to get information is to go to our website, which is fairfaxcasa.org. Um, you can also call our office, which is 703-273-3526. And I just want to mention that not only do we need volunteers, but we also need um, funds, funds because we are sure. not funded by the government. Oh, uh, we're, a, we're a private, you know, a public charity. And so we raise our own money and that is, you know, always a real challenge for nonprofits in this area. And that's why we're grateful to SEAL. Right, we really appreciate Cecilia Hayes and her um, bringing you here and raising more awareness. And if people would like to get in touch with Cecilia, her number is 703-636-7300. And she's with Keller Williams. And we really appreciate her bringing this opportunity for you to come here and, and we really appreciate your time as well. So thank you very much and we wish you all the best. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.